I, I really feel like in an apocalypse, I would be more like you, or I would be more excuse like me. you. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, I, I have a question. <laughs> That's normal. I, I heard this crazy rumor that, that it was Daryl's baby. <laughs> You're such an asshole, dude. Where have you been? Where are you? Where are you, man? I mean, Daryl's the one that's getting all the action, you know? <laughs> Look What's going on in this photograph, uh, may I ask? Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. So, you know, we're based on a, on a comic book, so we go to these comic book things. But right. there was a, a lady that walked up in a trench coat and... Good start. Yeah, right? <laughs> and she was, she was sort of nervous, and then she goes, will you hold my chicken? And I said, what? And then she opens up her trench coat and pulls out this chicken. So I held her chicken. Yeah. <laughs> First word. Shocking. Shock. S electric. Slide. Um, I just need to say quickly, Norman, your eyes are beautiful. Norman, your eyes are beautiful. Yes, I'm saying that. He Norman, knows. your eyes are beautiful. <laughs> and, um... <laughs> no! Oh. You know, and keep these people alive and, you know, be part of this group. And I think it's a big... Am I echoing? Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, 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 wow. Uh, that's so cool. I feel like I'm on drugs. Or it's... <laughs> With the brotherly bond and their incredible trust, it's impossible not to fall in love with the man. They both face many traumas. Rick lost his wife right before the world went to sh**. On top of that, he has to hide his developing feelings and urges to help a man he's come to love. But after Daryl is beaten, raped, and loses his brother, wow, both men can't hide their feelings any longer. That's so dysfunctional. What's wrong with you handing me that? Jeez, I give up. You don't have any left, I got them all. Let's yeah. out. I just think that Daryl has no game at all. You know, I think if, if, if there's going to be a kiss or something, I think he's, someone's going to make the move on him and he's going to be like, ah, you know. I, I don't want him to, you know, rip his shirt off and, you know, push somebody up against a tree. You know what I mean? Oh, man. Come on. I mean, it's got to, like, you know, Gail was talking about it earlier. It's, it's got to evolve to that. I think if it's, if it's before it's ready, then, you know, he's just gonna cry. Come on. You know what I'm saying? You know, I went to a chiropractor, he said, yeah, your hip bone's facing this way, your coccyx is facing that way, what the heck? But you know, he just click, click, and I was fine. But you know. She um, said coccyx. <laughs> Tailbone. Yeah, he doesn't have much game either. <laughs> um, <laughs> He really does. He has a lot, actually. What to watch out for? But um, it's it's been. Do you guys use that stuff when you go into your acting? Like when you study up on your script and stuff? I didn't hear a word of that, bro. Uh, acting technique, like uh, link ladder progression, and I don't know anything about no. acting technique whatsoever. <laughs> I really don't know shit. You know how I started being an actor? Is I got drunk at a party and started yelling at everyone. <laughs> That's how I started. It sounds like a good way to do it. And I, you know, I've been such an insecure dude my whole life that I've just been fucking staring and glaring at everybody my whole childhood. And, and somehow this turned into an acting career. I don't know how it is. Here we go. I'm ready. Here we go. Ah. Okay. <laughs> wow. No, we can do it, buddy. We can do it. Okay. Yep. It's a movie. Mm. Yep. Love movies. Two words. Yep. Uh, the, the Titanic. Okay. Um, <laughs> wait. Two, second word. Me. Man. Suit. Boom. Man. Mm. Oh, it's something man? Um, it sounds like a Denzel Washington movie. It's always the inside man or something. First word. Ant-Man. 
All right, now, let, let's uh, end with you, Emily. Yeah, I have, I have zombie dreams all the time. I have one dream that, that I've had a couple times where I'm riding around on Norman's bike, and I'm like trying to warn people. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Call me. No, no. no. Oh, oh, no. Can I give you a present? Yes. Let's cheer her on as she comes up. It's a squirrel button. <laughs> You're awesome. Thank you. So, um, shape. Ah! Ah! <laughs> you <f> <laughs> <laughs>